Hi everyone, Lewis here, and today I'm going to be starting Series 3 of Daisy Mod Survival Namask. And we've got a bit of a weird story to start with, so all you can see was a uh, a big strong weapon on my back. You guys might know of it, it's for, I don't really know what it's actually called, has it got a name? It's for ER7 RFW, let's see what it says. Signed by NAC, the Namask Corporation. So basically, it's a really weird weapon, and it's definitely one of the coolest weapons found in DayZ. It's only found on the Namask map. And I've got a little flashback to explain how the hell I got this weapon and got over here so quickly. Hello? Hello? Friends? Hey dude. What are you guys doing? Yeah, we're well, uh, just flying around in a helicopter. Uh, is there somebody you want to listen to? Uh, one second, I don't even know where I am. I just tapped in because I heard someone talk and then I know this is a helicopter so... I'll just uh, work out where the hell I am quickly. Um, just going to object A2 would be good, if that's possible. Alright, we can head there. Thanks man. Have you guys got any uh, gear or anything I could take? Once we land, I can give you some stuff. Okay. We got the railgun if you want to try it out. Uh, that would be cool, but... I'd probably die with it, but if you're willing to trust me to have it, then that'd be really cool, yeah. That'd be awesome. Is it the red dot one or the iron sight one? Um. Oh shit, this is the, uh, the one which has got rockets. This is what killed me in series 2, the end of series 2. That was so funny. When I seen the helicopter and it just shot rockets at me. Uh, this brings back bad memories. Well, kind of good. It was interesting, but I didn't expect it. It was a bit uh, scary. Wasn't really sure how to react, but... Now I'm in one, so I guess I'm not going to get shot by it, at least. It's always good. Looks like we're landing here. I've got no idea why I've got a joystick, by the way. Because I can't even do anything, but, you know, I'll go with that. Your booty. Holy shit. I'll take out the zombies. It's okay, bro. Don't waste the ammo. Oh, I've got a little backpack as well. Alright, my friend can give you the uh, railway. Okay. That's cool. You guys have got uh, the white ghillie suits as well. Have you got a spare one? Go. I guess not, but you can always ask. Um, whereabouts you find them, or... Oh shit. Actually, wait, uh, my friend might have one over here. Really? Yeah, I've got a spare gear if you want it. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. It's the white one, it'll keep you warm. Yeah, that sounds hot. I love warm things. Like clothes. <laughs> clothes are essential to survival. What a shocker. All joking aside, temperature on this map is of course really important. I mean, when you go on the, the, the big hills like this one over here, which is where most of the uh, new spawns go for spawn near because it's got the big barracks, um, you're going to get really cold, so that's definitely helpful. Not sure if this guy's going to drop me one or not. Uh, it's in your bag. Okay, thanks a lot. Can I take the ammo out of your backpack for this gun, or do you need it? Just like one? Oh, you, oh you've got, okay, never mind. Thanks a lot. Good luck, guys. Good you too. No idea what he said, but I think he said good luck on your journey or something. Right, so on top of getting that, as you may well have seen in flashback, I also got a ghillie suit, which I think is a white ghillie suit. I'm not sure. Yes, it is. There we go. I've got a dirty white ghillie suit. And I just said dirty again. I said I was going to stop saying it, but I guess I said it anyway. So. Oh, shit. No idea who's shooting at me, but please don't do that. So right now, I'm down south. I don't know where I am exactly. I think I'm just a bit north of Object A2. I just want to work out where I am first. And I wasn't going to be doing another series on Namask, but there's been a big update recently, which kind of sparked my interest in the map. This is definitely one of my favorite maps that there is for Daisy. you know, Namask. It's a pretty cool map. It's been getting regular updates, despite 
all the maps coming out. Normally when, I don't know why, but when people release the maps, we just kind of give up on them and just let them float around and not many people really play it. So, oh god, I'm actually getting really cold. I'm going to use a heat pack just so I can kind of stabilize my temperature because I think the ghillie gives me a bit of heat back. But there's been lots of updates and the newest update adds quite a few things. I don't know all the things. It's added this ghillie suit right here. You can see the white ghillie suit. This was added in the newest update. It also adds blood suckers. What the fuck? One second. I'm kind of confused by this. I'm really confused. I'm wondering if it's got any gear inside it. Oh, one second. I'm going to go inside and see if I can get something out of it. Probably not, but no. Okay, that's okay. All right. Anyway, as as I was saying, oh, I actually forgot exactly what I'm saying. But oh yes, blood suckers. So blood suckers have been added. They're actually enemies from Stalker. If anyone's played the Stalker series, you know what they are. They're the invisible guys who have got like the face that goes out and then they eat you and stuff and blood suck you and stuff. Pretty cool guys, and it's really weird that they've been added to the game. I don't really know why, but. They've been added, and like I said, they're invisible, so you just be walking along, and all of a sudden, in the middle of the night, a blood sucker will go, yeah, and try to eat you, so that's pretty cool. And I can't think of anything else which has been added, but it's still one of my favorite maps, like I said, and I've got this weapon, so I thought, why the hell not try it out? I am going to be going over to Object A2, which is, for those who forgot, it's actually the underground place. Wait, has this been changed now? I remember I used to always call this Object All, but I think it's been changed. I can't remember what this used to be, but I used to call it Object All, but I wouldn't call it All now. Oh, also, the, um, I'm not sure because it says in the patch notes, but what's it? A blowout, I think it's called. It's another thing which was, well, not really taken from Stalker, because it's a thing which can happen in real life. But it's a nuclear explosion kind of thing. What the hell is that noise? It's sort of zombie. I don't know exactly how it works, but I know you can get something to stop you from dying when there's blowouts. And A1 is where the blowout happens, so at any point, I don't know how it w works, like I said, and I don't think anyone does, because the patches just came out, but at any point, everything is going to blow up, or something. Even more dangerous than it normally is, not only is it cool, but we've got some invisible guys trying to murder us, we've got the blowouts on our tail, and yeah, it's going to be interesting, but I'm going to head underground and see if there's anything I can find there. I'm not really liking my odds going underground completely, but I haven't heard any gunfire yet, so I think I should be safe going down there. This gun is, of course, really good, but I've never used it before, so I apologize in advance if I can't aim with it. I'm hearing noises, and I don't like that. It makes it seem as if um, there's a bloodsucker near me. I don't know if they're invisible when, you, when they first attack you. I believe they are. And holy shit, that's a lot of zombies. What the fuck are we doing there? So I might have a bit of a trouble going there down to the underground place, but I'll try to get down anyway. Let's go ahead and take this hatchet. So I do know there's actually a barracks over here, which is some place which uh, not many people loot, so I'm going to go check out that quickly. Although I don't need too much good stuff, I mean, on this area you do spawn with an assault pack, which is kind of cool. You don't spawn with normal coyote, you spawn with the, um, the cooler looking one, and it does really give you a lot more survivability potential because it blends into the environment, because it's kind of white, so... I guess that's the main reason why they chose it for this map, which is nice. So I'm going to go check out the barrack and see what I can find. I can, of course, fit a gun inside my backpack because it is a bit bigger than the normal ones. The Enfield AKM. I think AKM is my best bet for now. I'm going to take that in my backpack. There we go. Got two more slots as well. Because, of course, a uh, uh, primary weapon takes up two slots. Ten slots even, not two. I'll be stupid. This old pack has uh, 12 slots, by the way, if anyone was wondering, so I'm good for now. Looks like I'm still getting really cold really fast, which is kind of stupid, because, I mean, I am wearing a ghillie suit, which is apparently supposed to help my uh, thermals, but... I guess I'll just deal with being cold. I'm actually feeling really as if I don't want to go underground, because the thing is, if there's someone underground, they're going to know I'm coming there, because you can hear the footsteps when you're underground, because it's literally silent, but the footsteps... And I'd rather not lose this gun and my ghillie suit, which I've just acquired. So I'm kind of tempted to go over to Norinsk. Although I could go on the ground and probably get an M4 or something, which would be cool. I think Norinsk is a better bet, and I'm probably going to be, be able to find some players over there. So I'm going to go ahead and start heading over to Norinsk, and hopefully find someone there. The sniper still would be good, because obviously this isn't very good whatsoever for sniping. So I'm going to head over there. It shouldn't take too long. I might go up on his hill eventually, but for the time being, I don't really want to. It's not a very good place to go when you first spawn. Unless you start hearing gunshots and you know there's someone up there, it's just too risky, really. 
Yeah, there we go and chat. This guy just said he was killed by an alien. I'm guessing he means a bloodsucker. People haven't played Stalker, apparently, but it's definitely from Stalker. So I have played Stalker, so... When, I'm, when I see one, I know what it is, so I'm going to be calm and collected, and I'll understand it's probably going to go invisible. You know, just a bit after hitting me, and I've heard they're really hard to take down. You're probably going to die to him. Oh, shit, what the f... Is that my buddy from before? I, I can't... No, it must be my buddy. Yo, buddy, it's Lewis. Hello? Don't shoot, bro. Hello? Oh, hey. Hey, sorry. Hey. What are you guys doing? Oh, I hear a heli. Um. Uh, oh, God, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, my friend had to get off because he just bought a private military corporation and. Oh, British okay. Armed forces. Is that heli yours? Uh, that is not our heli up there. Yeah, I can hear it. That it's... down there is. Like, yeah. Okay. I didn't want to shoot you, but I thought you might be an enemy, but. I was lucky. I was just planning- yeah, I can hear it again. You can only hear it if you look sideways, but I was planning on going towards Norinsk. Have you been there recently? Do you know if there's anyone there? Uh, I don't know. We only got on the server like an hour ago or something. Okay. Well, I'm gonna head there, so... See ya! Alright, see ya! There's some call yeah, that's what the guy's talking about, Joseph, in the chat. It's called an EVP. I don't know, it's like EVP something, and like I said, I don't even know what it is, but EVR? I don't know. That guy's got a really good username as well. Anyway, towards Norinsk. Should hopefully be a bit safer than over here. And it sounds like the heli's uh, at Norinsk as well, so that's interesting. Probably be able to shoot down pretty easily with these guns. Not sure how strong they are, but I'd imagine they're pretty goddamn strong. Oh yeah, also something which was added to this map, which I might not know about, is now... I mean, I haven't encountered any yet, but I do know that there's zombies, which are actually in the forest, which is really cool, because normally, you used to just, oh, look, there's a house over there, that means there's going to be zombies when I walk near it, but now there's actually zombies inside the forest as well, which makes it rather interesting, but so far I haven't actually seen any in the forest, and I've walked quite well, so, not really sure how it works, but still something which this map's done and no other map's uh, ever done, so, pretty interesting, but I'm just on the hill, looking over the city now, if you want to call it that, so, I'm going to try to get a decent vantage point and see what I can find. Can't see some peripheral dots on the left side of my screen right there, which are pretty far away. So I can see a car over there. I think that's a car. I think that's for like a weird looking company car. Can't see anyone in the city though. Which is kind of weird. No zombies. Oh, here's some zombies in the forest. You can see we know any of buildings, but it's chilling out, you know, looking at stuff. So that's nice for them. Kind of tempted to go up that tower over there, but. Because hmm. that does have military loot in them. I believe. Zombie over there. You guys see that? A little wet white pixel over there. How far away is that? I don't have... So it doesn't have a range on, which is good. I was just saying. But there's a zombie right there. So there's someone on the left side of the city, because there's none in the city. But there's a zombie. You see him right there. Right there. So there must be someone over here. Can't say anyone now. As you can probably see from the chat, some people are having problems with bloodsuckers, because they can kill you, like, really easily. So, something I should really watch out for. I'm interested to see one, but obviously at the same time, I'm not really because I'm going to have to shoot this gun if I do. I'm not sure if it's going to one-shot them. As strong as this gun is, we still may not get one-shot. I'm not really sure. I guess we'll find out once we see one, which should be soon. Right, there's a guy that says he's down south, just um, south of Norinsk, and he's got four bloodsuckers on him. So, I want to see some bloodsuckers in action before I die, and someone's in need, so, you know, I can balance out my karma and also help out this guy. So, let's go. Fuck. Blood suck aggro. Where are you, bitch? Pretty sure I just heard one. Maybe that's not aggro. <sighs> when like, yeah, or something. That's totally a blood sucker, man. Where is he? What the fuck is that noise? 